Hey everyone, thank you so much for tuning in today. Today I'm going to be doing my Ipsy versus Birch Box again and I'm so excited. I love these videos and this is like the highlight of my month, which is kind of sad, but I love doing this video and even though it's only the second one I've done, you guys really seem to like it. So, and if you aren't familiar with these services, they are beauty box services. They're $10 a month. You get between four to five beauty samples or full-size products with each one um so yeah let's jump into it i'm gonna do my ipsy first today since ooh, i'm gonna make a mess here um i'm gonna do my ipsy first today because i did my birch box first last month so it's only fair first thing i got isn't with my monthly bag in ipsy but i got these three milani shadows which i didn't realize it came with three so that's really exciting you could redeem your points for both boxes if you do like reviews on the bag and the products you get. So you get points for that. And then you could redeem your points for products. So I redeemed some Ipsy points for these Milani shadows. So that's really cool. I'm excited. I'm going to have to do a review on these on my Makeup Minute channel. So make sure to go subscribe to that. I'll leave it down below. With the point systems, I will say I do prefer Birch Boxes a lot more than Ipsy. Ipsy, they only give you a few products to choose from that you can redeem your points and most of them sell out like that it's crazy um yeah but Birchbox they have like a whole store it's kind of like a website in itself like popular products that you could redeem your points for so I like that aspect about Birchbox better so Ipsy's theme this month is beauty candy so the bag is pretty cool it's like this faux leather bag ish it's cute um, I like this one um let's dig in the first thing is this Mango Mandarin hand cream. Mer, mer, mer. I hate hand creams, honestly. I hardly ever use them. I have so many lotions and hand creams that I just don't use on a daily basis. Everybody says I have the softest hands in the world, but I just don't use hand cream. Ooh, these are um, glacial cleansing cloths. So they come with 10 makeup remover wipes. So these are cleansing wipes. I don't know how well they're actually going to take off makeup or if they just cleanse your face. I don't know, but these are really cool and it comes with 10. So that's a pretty good amount, I think. Next, what did I get? Ooh, eyelashes. I love these eyelashes I'm wearing today, <laughs> by the way. They're from the new NYX Wicked collection and I'm going to be reviewing these on Makeup Man at Channel 2. So you guys should just go subscribe. Um, but these are from Kiss, so that's cool. Um, they look kind of similar to the ones I have on, which I really, really like. So, I love eyelashes. I love false eyelashes. I wear them all the time. So, I'm excited to get these. I'm always excited to get false lashes. Next thing is this Mica Beauty Cosmetics, or M-I-C-A. I don't know if I said that right. It's a shimmer powder in the color Harlequin. These names. Um, so this is a pigment. It's a full, it looks like a full size. Um, it's like a green blue pigment though. I talked to one of you guys on my last video and we were like, what's up with all these blue eyeshadows, blue eyeliners? Like we're stuck in the eighties with Ipsy. Um, but this isn't too crazy. This is more of like a green blue. So that might work. And I like playing around with pigments. So that's pretty cool. The last thing is this Noya All Natural Lipstick. This is a pretty color. Um, perfect for fall. It's in the purpley tones. The top of the lipstick got smushed in this. That's lovely. It was like twisted up. It's like a mini mini lipstick, but who uses the whole lipstick anyways? Oh yeah, this is a really, really pretty color. I'm happy with this. It's kind of like melted on the top almost, I feel like, but that's a gorgeous color. Perfect for fall. So I'm quite happy with my Ipsy bag this month. I'm really happy about the lashes, the makeup wipes, and this lipstick despite the fact that it, it's kind of a mess everywhere, like between the top and there's some lipstick around the edges, so I really don't know what's going on with that. But the color is gorgeous. It looks super pigmented, super creamy. So I'm really excited about that. Um, I, this is okay. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's nice. It's a good size product. Um, not thrilled about hand cream, but what you gonna do? You don't love everything. So Ipsy was pretty good this month. So let's see what Birchbox is. All right, another thing I do like about Birchbox 
is that it comes with a card and it shows you all the prices on it. All right, first thing I see is this LOV butter. So it looks like a lip butter. Full size is $26. This looks like it might be the full size, so that's pretty cool. Um, next thing is this Vasanti Brighten Up Exfoliating Cleanser. This is supposed to mimic the effect of microdermabrasion for glowing, smooth complexion. So it's used three to five times a week and you kind of use it just as, as a face cleanser. Um, this next thing is this Model Co. Power Lash Black, Black Mascara. The full size is $20, but this look, I don't know if this is a full size. It's a pretty decent, it's definitely a decent size, I just don't know if it's a full size. Um, so it has a decent size wand, I like that. Then I have this Joyer, I don't know how to say that, but it's very popular with Birch Brock. Birch Fox, and it's the Matte Moisturizer Tint in Nude. The full size is $38, but this is so tiny. And this one feels like there's a lot of air in it. I don't know what's up with that. So I don't know if this is like a BB cream. Oh, that's kind of like a good coverage BB cream foundation type of thing. Um, it looks kind of orange for me. We shall see. It's tiny though. I feel like they could have given you a little bit more. This last thing is this Ojon. 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 Um, it's the Oil Total Repair Hair Therapy thing. Full size is $35, but again, this is a small amount for a hair serum. I don't think that's that's a pretty decent amount, but I don't I don't like getting hair serums in there. I have so many like silky things. I feel like this month's birch box was really catered towards kind of refreshing your skin for fall, but I'm just not digging this. Uh, they're all really small except for this lip butter, maybe the mascara, which I'm still thinking this is kind of a um, sample size kind of thing, because um, it's kind of small for a full size, I feel like. I just wasn't overly thrilled with any products in birch box this month. Um, if you are into skincare, that's more what Birchbox focuses on. Ipsy has more makeup drugstore type stuff and Birchbox has more um, like skincare type of thing. So it's really kind of what you like. I want to know which box you liked better this month. Did you like my Ipsy bag or did you like my Birchbox better? I'm going to have to go with Ipsy this month. So last month was a tie, this month is Ipsy, and I will leave the total value of both boxes in the description box down below so you could compare them and see which one I got a better deal with. I'm definitely happier with Ipsy this month. Let me know which box you liked better, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! I'm going to make a theme song. Yeah. Birch Box and Ipsy. Do do do. Pop my lamp sweat. And they're both pink this month. Is Birchbox always pink? I can't remember. Oh! Can't ever Birchbox versus Ipsy. I'm such a dweeb.